Now, I don't often make guides about uh, RuneScape 3 content. Um, I don't mind RuneScape 3 with the lore of the game and the voice acting and the music and things like that. I think it's incredible. Uh, it's just not my game with the microtransactions of it, but uh, I still can appreciate it. I still have all my old holiday things on there and memories, uh, so it is awesome. I do go back and see things from it um, from time to time. But this took my fancy here. It says RuneScape and Free Comic Book Day, which I did see in the old school RuneScape uh, achievement points uh, update in that uh, news there. So it, it also has it here in RuneScape 3 or RuneScape. So if I actually go in, click into this, uh, it takes us here. So it says RuneScape and Free Comic Book Day. So, free comic book day, RuneScape Untold Tales of the God Wars. That is a sick cover. It sort of reminds me of the, um, that, uh, sorry, I'm trying to think. It sort of reminds me of, like, the Warcraft comics. Um, also, interestingly enough, I have a, um, a, a poster that my parents got me. They actually went to Jagex headquarters, believe it or not. Uh, Australian family, uh, my mum and dad were from Australia, uh, all of us, our family, and they actually went to Cambridge in Science uh, Park or whatever it's called there for Jagex HQ and they let them in, got a tour and then actually got some posters before the mod signing and they bought all this merch back for me so I was pretty stoked but um, uh, going down, if I look at this, um, so the history of Gillenor is long and much has been uh, lost to the ages or even wiped from the annals of time but in a busy tavern within a bustling city a mysterious hooded figure sits by the fire with a story on his lips so it just goes in this uh, mysterious hooded uh, uh, figure is about to go into a story in this tavern um, that's how it starts so it actually says here uh, a bit more about it releasing later this year the four-part comic series runescape untold tales of the god wars will delve into the temple of lost ancients during the catastrophic and iconic god wars as four warring armies fight for control of the god sword a weapon capable of killing a deity trapped in the center of the conflict conflict is the undead marrow who dreams of breaking free of his master's clutches but escaping from the necromancer leads to a twisting, thrilling journey for Marrow when he finds allies and enemies across the front lines. Pardon me. So it has a bit about the um, God Sword, the hilts of the God Swords, which are Saradam's hilt, Zaramak's hilt, Armadil's hilt, and Bando's hilt. Uh, personally, I'm a, I, I do uh, like Saradam's hilt. Um, yeah, probably, probably my favourite, but you know, Armadil's hilt when you look closely it's pretty cool but they all, all have pretty cool design um, so this is important news so how do you get your hands on a copy again so if you're a comic book fan like myself I love graphic novels uh, I actually work at a library so I do like um, you know I have a passion for stories uh, and these type of books are awesome so I hope the graphic novels end up getting purchased by suppliers to be honest uh, it says here, uh, use the official free comic book day store locator to find a list of participating shops close to you. Simply input your postcode or zip code and hit enter and the locator will generate a list of comic shops near you that are participating. Um, so it says note FCBD generally only operates in English speaking countries so unfortunately not everyone will be able to get their hands on this free issue. However, the full series of four comic books slated to release later in the year and the graphic novel coming in 2024 will be distributed globally in English. So you should be able to get your hands on an RS comic at some point, even if there is no participating store near you for FCBD. This is just the beginning. Stay tuned for more information on future RuneScape comic books and the graphic novel in the future. Okay, this is exciting news. You, oh, I'm going to... I'm just going to say why I think this is exciting news. Um, I think that this is potentially a thing that will grow, um, you know, grow the game, but not just that, grow the fan base. Um, because there's a lot of people that don't have time 
um, they've grown up and they don't play it anymore, but I feel like the actual um, the lore of the game and things they remember, if they had the uh, forms of entertainment and art that were like this, books that they could read to, um, you know, whether it's books reading, audio books, whether it's uh, maybe a Netflix series, uh, um, a bit like the Arcane League of Legends series, it's so popular. I feel like a lot of studios could start doing this um, with the works of their art and just with the way computer science in general with things are becoming easier to, uh, you know, make without um, some things without human involvement as well. So I think it's very exciting. I think it's good that they are doing this. Um, and then it brings into the question of licensing with whether then, uh, you know, free libraries um, that, well, where users can borrow for free uh, wherever you live in the world, if that's the case. I know not everyone's like that, but then suppliers can then um, have these these items purchased, um, a contract between the libraries, and they come in, and then there's, you know, where they pay for the books, but it's free for the users um, that might not have as much money. Then these books end up coming on your shelves a bit like at the library we have uh, you know the Warcraft series you have the Warhammer and surprisingly you'd be very surprised well maybe you wouldn't but they're actually really popular so I feel like the RuneScape would would uh, graphic novels especially they would get reserved a lot I'm telling you now it'd be popular they could do kids series they could, could do adult series Jagex if you're listening I think you already know this probably but um, yeah great work and um, this is very cool. So hopefully we'll hear more about the graphic novels and what they said with what's to come. And hopefully there could even be a, a series um, down the track and that could be, you know, animation or whatever. But um, yeah, thanks guys for listening and please like, subscribe and comment on the videos.